Okay, good morning. Today is lamb makbouche or lamb kapsa. Okay, you need to marinate your lamb, say around one and a half kilo overnight with uh, crushed pepper, salt, lime, olive oil, ginger garlic, garam masala, exactly what I said. Garam masala in the sense you need to put some cloves, some uh, um, cinnamon, some uh, uh, crushed pepper, definitely. Um, all together, mix them and drop it in this beautiful meat. Um, yes, you need to. Yeah, that's the garam masala. There you go. Okay. All right. Talk to you soon. There you go. Garam masala, the cloves, the cinnamon, the cardamom, all mixed together with some, don't forget the curds, the yogurt. Okay, thank you. Keep them all in the fridge overnight. One day before, just do a bit of piercing in here and then it goes in the fridge for one night. That means you put it today evening you be ready in the morning okay now it's the next day and <laughs> there you go all this will go in the oven right all this in the oven make sure nice and easy okay make sure you drizzle some olive oil around Nice drizzle. Okay. Okay. Just water it a bit. A little bit of water from that marinade. Okay. So to keep it moist. Okay. Very good now. Cover it nicely. Make sure there's some some air passages around and then you should be ready for the oven uh, make sure it's uh, 200 degrees and there you go and the oven for one hour okay there you go okay in the meantime you need to soak say two and a half cups of rice um, it should be long grain basmati and uh, just soak in water okay say for around uh, one hour and then I'll let you know what happens later okay it's one hour now let me see how this bad boy is behaving must be doing pretty good height huh? okay let me give it a test and then I'll chuck it in for another half an hour I've been checking it and I think it needs another hour with a covered top meanwhile you need to make your palau so you need around three onions you need to brown them hey right? then some cashew nuts raisins ginger garlic paste star anise, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, okay? Keep all this ready and I'll show you how to prepare the next step. You need to make your brown onions. Make sure you put quite a lot of oil, but preferably I'd always say use ghee. You know, ghee gives you that extra flavor. Unfortunately, I don't have ghee in my kitchen today. But for sure, if I had some ghee, that was the first thing I would I'd put in. So make sure ghee and start making your brown onion. So once you brown your onions, you need to set them aside. Just drop them in a, in a nice plate like this. Okay. And... Uh, let it rest for some time. So once you got your onions sorted, use the same pan. Just try to 
just heat your cloves, star anise, a bit of cardamom all over from the pan. And you can remember this is your tamper kind of initial startup for your pala. So you can just prepare this and keep it aside. So after two hours now you can see the lamb is nicely cooked. I'm going to cut a portion of this lamb and cook it with the rice. You will watch and see now. Okay, I've chopped one portion of the lamb, I've left the other portion and moved the sauce into a small bowl and now I'm going to set my dish for the makbush. Okay, oil in the pan, pre-roasted Garam masala goes in there. The pre cooked, a bit of fried onion will go in there. There you go. The onion will go in there. The pieces of lamb will go in there. Okay. There you go. All this will go in there. Then I have my rice. Need to drop in my soaked rice. Okay, we'll get back to you quickly. Drop in your sauce in there. Remember the amount of cups of rice you have. You so I had two and a half cups of rice, so it's going to be five cups of water. So one cup has gone in. I have another four to go. Don't forget your ginger garlic paste. You need a good spoon in there. It has to be stirred around. Okay, make sure it's well stirred. It needs some beautiful butter also. So don't forget some butter. Stir it well. Okay. And then high flame, low flame, shut it and wait for it to cook. Cut the other part of the lamb and just Assemble them well in a nice dish. You are now put your you need to put your fire uh, flame on medium um, uh, simmer simmer it down and then shut it and wait for the magic to happen. And finally, 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 the makbush is ready. Uh huh. Pretty good, hey? It needs this beautiful onions on top. Okay. Just a bit. All right. Okay. Onions, you know, give a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Especially try frying these onions in ghee. Okay. Not too much. Put here and there, here and there, here and there. Makes it good. Sorry. Okay. And then a beautiful, beautiful, lovely roasted cashew nuts and raisins. Okay. Nuts, raisins, the whole lot. Spread it around. Okay. There you go. Your beautiful makbush is ready. Cheers. Have a great day. Finally, the beautiful lamb makbush is now ready, and you need to 
Enjoy this dish with passion from the Emirates. This is the beautiful Arabic dish and it's lovely, fantastic, beautiful. Enjoy.